end of the close of trade of the last trading month of September. Niger's OSHA index gained over a percent on the same day that the index launched, uh, the NSC launched the X-Gen trading platform. Now, some of the gainers today came from brewery space, the likes of Guinness and Nigerian breweries, while the laggards were Kumo Oil, Presco, Wando, Just Breweries and Livestock Fees. Now, for an update on trade activities today, I'm not being joined by Peter Adebola, Managing Director at BGL Securities. For more, thank you so much, Peter, for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon, Elsa. Now, is this a coincidence? We've seen a market uh, uh, logging soft gains and uh, mostly in negative territory. But today, the day that the X-Gen, the new trading platform was launched, we're looking at the index uh, with gains of over 1%. Yeah, um, looking at the market today, we actually saw an uh, increase in volume and value of the shares traded on the exchange today. Uh, we, look, we see uh, some companies actually gaining in their prices. And even for the first time in the last two weeks, we have increased in volume and value that were traded on the floor of the Nigeria Stock Exchange. Uh, today, we have uh, over 279 million shares traded at the value of $3 billion. This is the highest in the last, seven, in the last six trading days uh, that we have on the Stock Exchange. And even the OSHA index actually gained today by 0.41%. We have the OSHA index closing at 36 to 5.08 uh, today and that is uh, a, a major development from what we saw last week. All right, let's look at some of the top gainers. We're looking at Guinness over 12 Naira, uh, Forte Oil, and of course the top losers. But uh, before we go to that, let's look at the volume drivers. We saw uh, Transcorp pulling the highest volume today, over 54 million units uh, valued at 86.9 billion Naira. We also saw the stock closing higher today at 1 Naira, 61 cover. Now, well, I guess we could say that that's not unconnected to the fact that today uh, the federal government formally handed the certificate of ownership uh, to the power private uh, investors who bought over the power distribution and generating companies. Now, uh, what's your outlook for Transcorp going forward? Is this uh, an uptrend we're expected to see in the coming sessions? Um, looking at uh, Transnational Corporation of Nigeria and PLC, you see, is the only uh, company that is, uh, that is investing in the power companies out of all the companies that have been unbonded from power holding companies from Nigeria. And because of that, we see a renewed uh, interest in uh, Transcorp today. Uh, you, if, you, if you look at what has been happening there, because people are anticipating that government is going to hand over all these power companies to new private investors. So we, we have been seeing activities in, in transport. And moving forward, we are still likely to see uh, more interest of investors in the, in the company, because uh, people know that investing in energy company is actually going to uh, boost the performance of the company and it's going to add value to their portfolio. And being the only listed company, and being the only company that is listed on the stock exchange that is involved in this uh, power company, that's why you see so many investors actually creating interest in Transcorp. And moving forward, even for the rest of the week, we are still likely to see more investors coming in to invest in Transcorp. Okay, for the rest of the week, let's uh, let's uh, look at an outlook. How high can this stock go? Um, actually, um, looking at what we have in the market today. You can see that the, on the volume side, we see a lot of many people that are actually wanted to buy the stock but couldn't get. But on the upper side, we see a kind of lean offer uh, on the sell side. So looking at what we, we observe in the market today, there is tendency that the price may actually remain what it is or slightly go higher. But uh, for the kind of uh, renewed interest that we see in the stock, the price is not likely to go down. Okay, let's look at, uh, obviously, today's the last trading day for the month of September and, of course, uh, brings to an end uh, trading for the third quarter. Now, I imagine portfolio managers will be rebalancing their portfolios, taking stock of the month, although we're still in a negative for the month of September. But in terms of rebalancing, uh, in terms of looking at value valuation for stocks, uh, what areas do you think they could lean towards? Are we looking at financial stocks, uh, consumer stocks, or industrial stocks? Yes, um, if you look at the activities of today in the market, you will see that where we actually have a lot of uh, uh, activities, we have them in the banking subsector as well as uh, banking subsector and also con uh, industrial stocks. And that's why when you look at the volume, you see that Transcorp top the, uh, the volume in terms of trading, followed by UBA and some other banking stocks. 
So what we see today is that apart from transport that gained today in terms of volume, we also saw UBA, we saw Union Bank, and we also saw GTB increasing in their prices. Uh, this is in line with portfolio realignment uh, towards the end of the month for portfolio uh, managers. And because of this, that's why you see a kind of renewed interest in investing in all these stocks. And that is what actually impacted positively uh, on the market today because in the market today, we have about 25 gainers, whereas we have about 16 losers. And many of the, the companies that are under the, the uh, gainers today, we have UBA, we have Union Bank, we have GT Bank, and uh, Access Bank, among the banking stocks that we see there. Whereas when you look at the non-bank stocks, we have the stock like Guinness, we have Nigerian Bureaus, we have, we have Honeyflower, we have Nascom, we have Red Star Express. These are the stocks that are actually in the gainers list today, which is not far-fetched from the activities of portfolio manager as far as the end of the month. Not only the end of the month, but you also realize that today is the end of the third quarter. And that is why we witnessed such activities even in the, in the, in the listed stocks.